Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to Saturday tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you how to model a fin root structure in Revit. Okay, basically, the project I got requesting from my Facebook fan page, and he want me to make a tutorial about root structure because recently he got working about project his three year as an architect, and he want to model the root structure combined with his building model so today i thought it would be helpful if i can produce that kind of tutorial for happy now okay so now before i get things started i would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications so you won't miss my future tutorial and of course you can leave a comment below for future tutorial also so I will collection a random one for making tutorial. Okay, so now I think it's pretty much for introduction. Let's speak into our project together. Okay, here we are in Revit architecture template. So what I'm going to do first in order to make our fin root structure. First thing I need to go to my level 2 because we are working on level 2. Then I would like to close my level 1 first. Then I need to go to our structural tab because we need to load our truss structure also before we make our fin root truss. I just prefer go to structure here, go to our truss over there. Then as you can see here, because we are working on architecture tab, that's why we didn't have any structural truss family load in. So we need to load in. You just say that away straight yes. Once you say yes that, the width will be transferred you to another pack, then I will drop down finding for US metric because we are using for metric, then just drop it down finding for our family structural trusses. I double click here. Then here our first one is our fin root truss. I just select here, then hit open up. One I select open that my family will be logged in. Okay, so now our family is loaded in already. It's a fin root truss, and you can straight away draw it out. I will pick a first point here and until second point, or I can tie it out for indicate what kind of size or dimension that I want to provide in my project. I will tie it for 8 meter. Hit escape a couple of times. Once I done that, I have done my root trust already. But as you can see here, because our visualize style is we haven't changed yet. If we want to see our trust thickness, you need to change our visualize style to fine. As you can see here, then I can go to my 3D there. Start from front view. But we got some problem because as our trust structure reform is pre it depend on our beam wood framing because our project we got only universal beam it's a i beam that's why we need to load another one so i will start from from you again then go to our structural tab again go to beam here or bm for shortcut key then i will load our family i will go to us metric then finding for structural framing over there then go to steel i prefer using for hollow system steel double click then I can choose whatever size I want because later on I will adjustment. Then I can go to our property panel, go to edit type. I will duplicate because I don't want to affect my previous steel, whole system steel, make it 100 by 100 millimeter. Then you need to change here also, dimension 100 and B is 100. And for thick R, TR for thickness, I will make it for 10. Then again, it's okay. Hit us get a couple of time. I need to select all of them first. Then I'm going to okay. We need to adjustment our structural first before we make this one fit with our bottom here. Hit escape first. Select my truss over there. Then go to the type. As you can see here, here is our top chart. The four here is a top chart. So for structural framing type, I will set it for all system here 100 by 100. Then I will copy that. Control A, Control C. Just change it here. Control V. Again, Control V. Drag it down, finding for the last one. This guy over there. Hit apply. Then it's okay. 
as you can see here now it changes now we got some minor problem because our beam is not connecting with another top chart here and the bottom chart here so how could we show that because this one is about the spacing of welding and basically in our reality construction our spacing not become like this so we need to solve that and here is his problem also i hope you can see the tutorial i forgot your name already sorry about that okay so how to fix that first thing i need to select one all of them hit a tab key then i will sa for select all element then i will straight right to unpink here because i want to try it up once i done that i can hit escape a couple of time hit a tab key again then i can drag it until here in order to make a copying we need to make it connected first make it like this and here again i will give you a few example and the next thing i will make is for the faster way here i'm going to make it again like this i will make these two of them like this okay once i done that i can like hit a tab key like one of the element there Go to our modify structural framing and here is our copying or you can see p for shortcut key i will copy first thing you need to select your main beam and select another beam for cutting as you can see here again i just follow it up and here i need to join also as you can see here now it's cutting properly then i can select all these two three guys over there just take a look on our property and i will draw it down finding for coping distance coping distance is mean a welding distance so i will change our welding distance is one millimeter it's apply as you can see here now better a lot and here i'm going to finish up Okay, this guy is a last guy. CP. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to change for the stand or our copying also. Okay, as you can see here, now it's properly. Once I done that, I need to copy that. I will consider our roots is about 20 meter. So I will select here. And the faster way I will make array tool. AR for array. Then I will make for every spacing about 4 meter. Just tie it out 4 meter. And for 20 meter, we just time by 5. It's okay. Hit us get a couple of time. As you can see here. Once I done that, I can create another reference plan and make another rules there in order to apply our beam system. Or of course, you can create another reference plan through this, but I don't like that my style. I think it's about the habit or so. I like to create another rule there, then apply that. Go to our level tool, then RP for reference plan. I will start from here until here, and right name is for number one. Hit escape a couple of time. Go back to my sound elevation, then go to our architecture tab. Rules, rules by, we need to use our rules by extrusion actually. Name, then change to reference plan 1, it's okay. It's okay again. Then I will use our pick line, change our basic rule to 125, like this, like this and tr for trim and extend make sure it's connected then i can finish as you can see here once i done that i can play around with that i will mv for move and make it like this okay perfect go to my 3d again as you can see here i will start from top view then ar for array sorry al for align i will align it Okay, sorry. I think I aligned the wrong one. Of 
okay hardly to see where is my rule with like all like this and just straight away make it like this okay perfect once i done that i will go to our architecture on toolbar there go to our set i will set for pick plan i will pick here you know tap key as you can see here then i can show my working plan like this as you can see here then i'm going to close first go to our structure beam system then rectangle start from here and until here yep then i will make it for fit number and make it for 10 is apply for the direction i will just follow this i just hit finish as you can see here then i can start from our front view over there change it to our wireframe then i can select the whole system there let's turn around let's select the whole system here start from front then on v for move make sure you turn on for this joint because you want to move it move it from here until here yep like this then go to our architecture tab set a plan set it for level 2 then i can select my whole system here hit escape first okay where is it then i'm going to mirror it just mirror it change it to hidden line i want to find the top here okay perfect okay we got some problem because our set of our plan haven't set yet i'm going to delete first set our plan again pick a plan pick here as you can see here let's show our work plan first is correct then i'm going to select our system again go to mirror and mirror here as you can see here then i'm going to delete my rules here because now it's become useless already okay as you can see here that's how you can make your roofing structure in Revit and of course in reality construction you might be need to add another beam here to cover here and for add that you just straight away go to your beam tool and just draw from here until here because no issue at all okay guys i think it's pretty much for the tutorial i hope the tutorial can help you out thank you guys for watching from start to finish and leave a comment below if you want me to create another tutorial from your requesting either from my facebook page or from my youtube channel thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for joining me and again <laughs> thank you for watching and i see you for another tutorial in Revis and have a nice weekend thank you